Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg and I love all things beauty and makeup. And today we're doing another three looks, one palette series. And this time we're gonna do it on the Bella Beauté Bar Basic Witch Palette. I absolutely love this. I can't wait to play with it again. I did a poll over on my Instagram just asking between this and three other palettes which one everyone would like to see for my next three looks one palette series and this was by far the winner so here we go. If you want to be involved in future polls like that then make sure you're checking me out on those socials Spooky Mama Glam on Instagram and TikTok. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so for my first look, I want to do something pretty edgy and very outside of my comfort zone, and that is attempting to recreate this amazing look right here. This is from mashkazoom underscore makeup on Instagram, and I've just seen a lot of her work, and I'm always just really inspired by it, but I saw this one today, and it just, oh, it just caught me right away. I'm not sure if we're gonna do like that same color scheme. I might go for like just like a monochromatic purple moment, but I thought it'd be fun to play with the shapes and just put a multi-chrome on top of, or like intense shimmer on top of some dark liner base in that. So I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun. So let's do our best. <laughs> Okay, so I went back and forth. I decided I am going to do more, like my goal is to do more of a purple pink base look. So to start off with, I want to do a wash of color across the whole lid. So I'm going to go in with this gorgeous purple here called Hex. And we're going to grab that on this Melt Cosmetics uh, transition brush. Just a nice fluffy brush. We're going to dip in to Hex. Make sure our base is all smooth. I don't know why I dipped so much into the palette, only like tap so much of it off. <laughs> all right, so we are going to go all over the lid. I'm gonna go first with this and then I can always go in with something a bit deeper if needed. Next, we're going to take some liner, and I think the best product, at least for me for this, is going in with one of the Melt Cosmetics gel liners. I love these, and I was going to originally go in with like a straight up black, but I thought going in with this gorgeous nightshade color from the uh, Melt and Bailey Syrian collab would be perfect. It's like a deep purple, almost purple blue kind of a tone and I think it'll just be a nice base for everything. Um, so I'm going to go in with my KBD number 70 angled brush. I don't think these are available anymore but just trying to basically go for something that's going to be nice and thin um, to be able to help create a thin line and I'm going to like load up my brush but also just not have too much product on and we're going to start off trying to do the inner corner. I'm gonna try to stay in frame and also not have my uh, mirror get in the way, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if this is really the right brush for this. I feel like I need to be doing something. Let's try this. It's just like a small, it doesn't even have a name. Uh, little liner brush. I just don't know if it's gonna have the right sort of, I don't know, the bristles in that.
probably have to do some cleanup, but that's more or less the shape that we are going for. Okay, small change in plans. I almost was just gonna like kind of restart <laughs> the look completely. Uh, I took off what I had done because I just am finding that, I don't know if it's just like the brushes I have available or the product itself, but I'm just not achieving like the fine lines I want. So I think I'm actually going to go in with the liquid liner and give this a shot. Uh, maybe we'll go over a little bit with the other stuff after, but we're just gonna create a black base and design with this. Try not to have too much product on here. And this is just LA Colors liquid eyeliner that I got at Dollar Tree. All right, <sighs> trying this again, so. somewhat happy with that now to try to attempt the next line I am a little terrified The only thing more terrifying than what I'm currently doing is just knowing that I have to try to recreate it on the other eye. What was I thinking? Anyways, I am liking how this is turning out, but it is fiddly AF. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna add a wing now, a big wing. This should technically be the easiest part, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep finessing this again. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the wing complete. Oh my gosh. Um, let's move on to the really fun part of this, which is getting some like kind of shimmeries on top of this. I'm gonna take this Morphe, just like liner kind of brush and some NYX glitter glue. Actually gonna put that on the back of my hand just so I can dip in. And we're just gonna kind of lightly go over the liner with the glitter glue. Particularly anywhere where there is just a lot more kind of thickness not to the liner. And all over this wing. All right, and then let's jump right in. I think we are gonna go with this gorgeous shade here, Witch Please. To me, it looks like very like hot pink, but I feel like it's showing off 
very like purple in that in the viewfinder. And we're going to pick that up on the exact, exact, exact <laughs> same brush. And we're going to start placing that on this liner. Pretty. I feel like I actually might need something else. I'm going to grab an angled brush and at least start planting that on the wing here. Pretty. Yes, something just like that. Let's see how we can best Apply this to these little areas. In hindsight, I probably should have tried to make these spots even more dramatic. Something like that. I hope that you're able to pick that up on camera and that's not too subtle, but I am really liking this. So I am going to try to recreate this on the other eye and then we'll be back and we'll do the lower lash line. Okay, we did it. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, but let's just not look too closely for any similarities because I'm sure there's a lot that is different between them. Um, I went ahead and placed some liner in my waterline. This is the Melt Cosmetics Slick Line Waterline, sorry, Slick Waterline Eye Pencil in Black Onyx. I just love this for an eyeliner. And then we're going to grab, how about this like little pencil oh, brush? <laughs> Got like liner everywhere. This little pencil brush from e.l.f. And I think we're going to go in with this dark purple called Hecate. And we're going to grab that. <laughs> I grabbed my phone <laughs> to be my mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, we're going to go right along the lower lash line. And then we're going to grab a little blending brush and we're going to go back into that first shade Hex, that light purple that we used all over the lid. We're just going to blend this out a bit. All right, something like that. And then I'm going to go just with my pinky and some NYX glitter glue and I actually dab on the back of my hand. I'm just kind of under I'm going to go in with that and then directly pick up some of that same shade. I'm just going to really Um, put it kind of everywhere on the lower lash line there. It's a little crazy. Just take your blending brush and blend it out a bit. But something just like that.
All right, I think that's pretty much it for the eye look. Um, not, I say not too complicated a look, but to me this was a complicated look. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish it off. We'll come back, show you what it looks like with like lashes and a lip, and then we will eventually move on to another look. All right, here is the finished look. This was a bit of a trial. I hope when I look back on the footage, it's not gonna be like a hot mess of me trying to do this. I just, I really wanted to recreate this look. So hopefully it was fun to watch me struggle through this and come up with this look. I'm really happy with the end result. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, the lashes like probably cover up the wing a bit more than I would like, but I felt like this look still needed dramatic lash. so. I went with it. These are just some Ioni ones that I had in rotation uh, for my lip combo. It is another Melt Cosmetics combo, and I say another because it's just like so often my combo is a Melt Cosmetics lip combo. I went with the Perfectionist Lip Pencil in Cashmere, and then one of their matte lipsticks in Ho Is Life. It's just one of my all-time faves. But yeah, I really love how this turned out. Um, is it perfect? No, not even close, uh, but I think it's fun. It was really great to finally try one of those kind of sort of tribal-esque looks. I think the multi-chrome on top of the liner is just a fun touch and definitely a technique I need to play with more. And yeah, I just really enjoyed this. So hope you liked it for look number one. Ooh, and it goes so cute with my little bat earrings that I put on that I think these are from Sheen. I'm not 100% sure, but I love them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and stick around for look number two. Okay, time for look number two. I think with this one, we're gonna do something a bit more simple. We'll see, at least simple to me. Uh, the last look, although fun, was definitely more detailed and I just need something just a little bit more just flowy and simple. So I think we're going to just like use a couple mattes, pull in a shimmer or two. I think we're even going to pull in a little pressed glitter because I can't help it um, and go from there. So let's zoom in. Okay, so first going to go in with this gorgeous deep matte down here called Black Cat, sort of like a purpley brown. And we're going to use that to deepen up the outer corner. So I'm going to take that on this Melt Cosmetics blending brush. I think it's a round transition is what it says. We're just going to pick up some of Black Cat. Cut it off. And we're just going to start stamping that on the outer corner and then like blending it out once we have less pigment on the brush. Definitely has like, it's like kind of like a deep I don't know if aubergine would be the right word. I could be totally off base with that, but very purple, purpley black, purpley brown kind of shade. I guess really just like a deep purple, but in the pan, it looks like it's going to be more of like a brown. And then I feel like when I get it onto my lids, it's very, very purpley. As you can see, we're just getting most of the pigment down and then blending out. We'll probably, I'll probably go in with like a brush with no um, product on it just to finish. Sorry, had to change the camera batteries. Hopefully that didn't cut me off too bad. But I was just basically saying that we got a bunch of the pigment on here and then I'm probably going to go in with like a brush with no product on it to finesse the blend. But first we're going to move on to the next shade and that is going to be the matte green called Creep It Real. Love the name. And I'm going to take that on this Morphe E17 brush. I'm just going to start placing that in the crease. Very pigmented, love it though. And then I'm gonna take a blank brush, just like a Morphe small blender brush, no product on it. I'm gonna use that on that spot there. And I think I'm actually gonna grab another one. Again, it's just steamed, but no product on it.
looking in my like other larger meal or me meal mirror every once in a while to just kind of see the overall look and how it's coming together all right and then grabbing our trusty nyx glitter glue i think i'm actually just going to go in with my finger like I said, we're going for simplicity here. But I'm going to put that all over. And then I think I want to go in with, I think I'm going to go into Cauldron and then Hocus Pocus for our shimmers. Oh, look at that. Like, that's like I barely tapped my finger into the shade. It's just so stunning. Like, the, oh, the shimmers are just unbelievable. Now into Hocus Pocus. Uh, God, I love it so much. Oh, I just, come on. Bellevue Tabar just like freaking kills it with their shimmers and I'm gonna actually go in a little bit with that black cat shade a little bit more and just make sure that it blends into that cauldron shade nicely yes Okay, so before we do the lower lash line, I just want to jump in with some glitter. I'm going to take my Cara Beauty Pop That Glitz palette. It's just like a pressed glitter palette. And I am going to go in with this gorgeous like green uh, pressed glitter here. Uh, it's called Spotlight and it's got like some like little stars in it too. Um, I am going to take this on a brush just so I can hopefully deposit the product a bit more specifically. So let's see how well I can do this. I am attempting to pick this up on just like this little Morphe M431 brush. And we're just gonna place this all right here. So just kind of wrap it around that Focus, focus, shimmer. So I'm just trying to get enough of the product picked up. I might layer another one in there too, just so it stands out a bit more, but I don't know. I also kind of just like how this one is going. Okay. And then we're gonna take some liner. My Melt Cosmetics Black On It. I'm actually gonna put that a little bit, I'm put it on my waterline, and then I'm also just kinda smudging it into the actual lash line a bit too, just so it'll blend into the mats that we place down a bit better. And then, if I can find one, uh, just a flat definer brush. This is a Luxie 221. I'm going to dip into that black cat shade. I'm going to start stamping that slash dragging it, like wiggling it, <laughs> doing all the things into the liner. And almost going to the inner corner, but just like not quite. I think I gotta put a bit more here. For whatever reason, I think it's getting like a little patchy from that part of my lid. It just might be the way my application was. Uh, and then we're gonna pull in a little bit of, I think for the lower lash line, just to help blend out a bit, we're gonna pull in this shade Coven. And I'm just taking that on a small blender. This is the Luxie 229. And we're just going to lightly blend out 
another shade. We'll even kind of use this to like blend out the outer corner a little bit more as well. So nothing too intense, but just to smoke it out a bit more. Ooh, just like that. And then I'm going to actually go into that pressed glitter just a little bit more. And I'm going to use that to like bring that kind of down and around. Like that. I am super happy with how that turned out. I'm going to go repeat on the other eye. I'll add lashes, lip. You'll just, you'll see it all done. So be your back. All right, here is the finished second look. So again, nothing too complicated. We just went for something really nice and like blown out and colorful and I am here for it. Added that glitter, which we did together. Um, I went in with some Ioni lashes, surprise, surprise. It's, they're these ones. Uh, so they just say they're the crisscross cat eye long. It doesn't have like a specific kind of collection name or any other information on it. So that's what I got there. Uh, for my lips, I didn't bother going with any lip liner. I just went straight in with a Melt Cosmetics and Bailey Syrian uh, Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Nutmeg. Absolutely love this. Uh, should be careful with that. For whatever reason, mine, um, the actual like lipstick inside has come loose. So I just have to be careful when I'm applying it. But it might have been a bit of a warm brown for this look, but whatever. We're just going to rock it. We're going with it. I'm wearing it now. I'm not changing it. Uh, but yeah, that, that is the look. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this. We'll, we'll see what shenanigans we get up for the third one. Maybe we'll get a little bit more kind of involved and intricate for that one, but we'll see. Sometimes it's just fun to like play with the shadows and see where it takes you. So I enjoyed creating this. I hope you enjoyed watching it and let's just get on with it. Let's do it. Let's create look number three. I think I want to do another graphic liner kind of moment thing. Um, I just feel, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the graphic liner. How much of it we do on camera, we'll see. We saw how much I fumbled with that first look. But yeah, I just think it would be a fun kind of route to take with this palette. So let's get to it. So I think matte wise, I want to go mainly with this lightest purple here, Hex, and also this gorgeous like gray purple or purpley gray uh, coven. And then we might deepen up a bit with Black Cat as well. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the route I want to go. Just sort of like smoke out some mattes along the... Uh, lid, uh, add some graphic liner details, and then I think also just kind of go across the middle with something just like sparkly and pretty uh, just to add a little extra dimension. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Hex, and I'm going to grab that on this Melt Blending Brush. This is from the Amori Mariposa colla uh, collection that they did, so I don't think these brushes are available anymore, but the Melt Brushes in general are awesome in my opinion, so definitely worth checking out. And start with the shadow. I just like lose my train of thought and where I'm trying to go with a sentence so much. The amount of stuff I edit out just so these videos make sense is, is ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna smooth out any of the eye base and we're gonna go in with Hex. We're going to just blow that out all over the place. Probably could have gone in with a bit of a bigger blending brush for this, but that's okay. We're almost going to kind of do like half and half. And then grabbing a larger blending brush, this is just a Morphe JS5, I think it says. And I'm going to dip into Coven, tap that off, and we're just going to start stamping that on the outside. Lightly blending into Hex, but I don't want to like overtake it. 
Ooh, and I'm just thinking now, um, because I think I'm going to use like water activated liners for the graphic liner moment. And I was just thinking it'd be nice to use like maybe like we can use some sort of one on the front, a color, maybe something deep to pop against the uh, hex shade and then something a bit lighter and more pastel to pop against this coven shade. Ooh, that could be a moment. I'm here for it. Sometimes it's fun when you're doing your makeup and you're kind of coming up with like the details of how you're gonna make it all happen as you go. I don't know. To me, it's kind of like the beauty of makeup. It's just figuring it out. I'm just gonna take a blank blending brush and we're just going to smooth along the edges of that just to make sure that the blend for Coven is nice and smooth. We don't want to lose too much though of the pigment either. So I am gonna go back in, add some more. And then I'm even gonna go back into Hex and kind of go over the middle here. I'm gonna be covering a lot of that with shimmer like anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Doing that step, like a, using a blending brush that has no additional product on it, can really be a game changer for how your mattes blend and how just like seamless your look will be. Um, it's just definitely, in my opinion, a step worth doing. Okay, so I am hoping this doesn't turn into a hot mess express, but we are gonna go in with some liner. I decided I'm actually just gonna go in with one shade and I'm gonna go in with this just slimy green called Slime from Gabisi Beauty. I just love it and I think it'll just be such a fun pop against the purples and like purple gray. So we're going with it. I'm gonna take that on this just like detailer liner brush. It's like a nail art brush from Sheen. I'm just gonna load it up and I am going to do a little sort of something <laughs> in the inner corner here. And then what I wanna do is kinda go up and then kinda in or arch in somehow for the outer corner. So let's see how it goes. not so bad I feel like I kind of brought in a little bit more than I meant to but whatever we can work with that and now we're gonna do the outer corner
Okay, I think that is it for the liner. I'm happy with that. It's just a nice little accent and I feel like if I try to do much more, this is going to take a turn for the worse. <laughs> so now I just want to add like a little hint of a, like I don't want to go in too opaquely <laughs> with one of the shimmers. I just want to add some of the sparkle of it. And so I am, I put some NYX Lyric Glue on with my finger, just kind of dabbed it along the lid. And now I'm going to go straight in with a shimmer with my finger as well. And I think I'm going to take the shade Hocus Pocus. It's just what's speaking to me. And rather than like pressing in too much, like even still, I got a lot of pigment on there. Um, I just sort of dabbed my finger and we're just going to see how this looks if we kind of dab. So I don't want it to like take away from the liner. Just wanted to like add a little, a little zhuzh, which I'm actually really happy with that. So let's go see if I can attempt to repeat this on the other eye. Pray for me. And when we come back, I will have this all finished because there's really not too much more to look. Actually, no, no. When I come back, I'm going to come back and do the lower lash line first. We got to do that. I got to finish the lower lash line. Big sort of match. <laughs> Anyways, going on to the lower lash line, I'm going to take a gel liner. Are we shocked? Uh, Mel Cosmetics uh, Nightshade from the Bailey Syrian. I don't know why I'm looking at it as if I had to read that. Nightshade from the Bailey Syrian collab. And I'm going to take that on this Gothlo 709, which is like a small angled brush. And we're going to put that on my waterline right into the corner and also just trying to smudge it ever so slightly into the lash line itself and then we're going to take some sort of a brush we'll do this this is a just small pencil brush morphe jh39 and I'm going to go in to, I think I'm actually going to pull in a little bit of, I could take, okay, okay, this purple, <laughs> and I'm just going to pull that up on the tip of that brush, and we're just going to buff out a little bit with that. And then I'm going to use that, am I going to regret this? Yes, I'm going to regret that. So we're not, <laughs> no, we're not going to use that. I'm going to use a small blending brush and dip into that coven shade. And I'm just going to lightly blend around that purple just to pull in a little bit of the gray. Kind of going a little crazy there in the inner corner, but that's okay. We'll cover that with a shimmer and then I feel like pulling in Let's see how it goes we're just gonna put it on a really small brush because I don't want it to be overpowering I'm gonna pull in a little bit of resting witch face and that's just on a very small um pencil brush from the Maury Mariposa collection and we're just going to put a little bit of this because it is a multi-chrome so I feel like going in too heavy could be really intense for the inner corner but yes I like that something just like that all right we're gonna go repeat this on the other eye now when I come back I will have a finished look and we will just wrap up this three look one palette series that we've gotten ourselves into Okay, that wraps it up. This is look number three, and I think it turned out awesome. I am so happy with it. 
it was a bit of a struggle. I thought points during it where I was like, I don't know. I don't know if this is really working, if this is super impactful, if this is going where I want it to. Um, it might not be the look that I exactly envisioned to begin with, but I like the end result, so I am happy. Um, I love the pop of the green liner. Uh, of course, as you can see, I added some embellishments. I just couldn't help myself. Um, I have so many like different like glitters and like just accent products that I just... I want to be able to use them. I don't want them just sitting and rotting in my collection. So I like to pull them in. Um, I do like to try to still focus mostly on the shadows, but I think part of doing looks is incorporating other things in your collection and using your makeup. So I'm sticking to it. Uh, so on the lid, I did tap on a very little bit of this Glitterly Obsessed from ColourPop. This is in the shade Hopeless Romantic. Um, I just really loved the sort of goldeny, greeny tones, and I thought it would just complement that Hocus Pocus shade quite a bit. And then I also decided that just on like not completely covering it, but on like the very lower part of my inner corner, um, I went into my Cara Beauty uh, Mega Glitz palette, and I used this shade here, which is called Techno just this beautiful kind of purple pink glitter um, and I just thought that would complement the look really well and I really like how it turned out. Uh, for my lashes, I only lashes, are we surprised? Uh, this is another new pair of the crisscross cat eye long um, in this like butterfly packaging. Again, it doesn't really have like a name to it. It's the only thing I like don't like about Ioni is I just wish that they had more consistency with like the naming of their products and stuff. So it could be like, oh, it's this style, whatever. Um, not that like the styles that I have are necessarily the ones that you're gonna find. Uh, it's what I'm finding in my local Dollar Tree, but I'm also in Canada and I feel like we're always a little bit behind on everything that we have so this might be like a really super old collection for all I know but it's what I can currently find so I'm loving them um, I cut them off and then normally I kind of just discard the pieces that I cut off but this time I put them on top of the ends just to add a little extra like depth and all of that and I really like it I've done this before and I just really need to remember to do it more often because I really like the final result and then on my lips, I went in, as you can see, with the super neutral shade. Uh, this is from Earthly Cosmetics, and it is one of their satin liquid lipsticks in Savage, this gorgeous black. Um, and one thing I have to like point out that I really appreciate is like the pointed tip that they have um, for this. It's just, I don't think they have it on all of their satin liquid lipsticks, because I think a lot of their other ones are more of a rounded, but I love a pointed tip. I just, especially for a bold shade like this, it is just so easy. I didn't have to go in with a liner at all. I was able to just work carefully and get really crisp lines uh, without having to use a liner. So I, I really appreciate that personally. Um, I'm not against using a lip liner, but sometimes it's just nice being able to go right in with the lipstick. Anyways, that rounds up our three looks, one palette using the Basic Witch from Bella Beach Hay Bar. I hope you really enjoyed watching me create these looks. I hope that they weren't too much of a hot mess. I know that first look was a bit of a struggle. I don't really know how much of the footage um, of me actually creating the look is super usable, <laughs> but hopefully, fingers crossed, when I'm looking back and editing, um, it will be. But yeah, it was just really fun getting to jump into this palette again. Um, I just absolutely adore Bella Beauté Bar. Um, they have amazing mattes. Their shimmers are so magical, uh, and I just really love getting more use out of them. Uh, so yeah, I will eventually probably do another poll on another what should my next three looks one palette video be. Um, I do want to play with some of my other stuff, not necessarily doing like, you know, three looks one palette, uh, but just kind of maybe, you know, hey, here's another look using this palette. Um, and then I also do have some, some new, to me anyways, <laughs> goodies heading my way. So although one of them is like a new release. So I'm really excited. Can't wait to get my hands on that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, ways you can help out my channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe. Any and all engagement really helps out. So I greatly appreciate it. And I just... Every time I see a new subscriber, I just, my heart just swells. I'm so thankful for you um, and just really excited that you're here and enjoying my content. 
Uh, you can also check me out on my other socials, Spooky Mama Glam, on Instagram and TikTok, uh, just to see more content that I put up. Sometimes I do looks in between where I just do a look and I post it on my Instagram. Um, I also sometimes do quick look little TikTok and Instagram Reels tutorials as well. So uh, if you want to see more of that kind of content, don't forget to check me out on those. Uh, that's, that's about it. So hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!